So whenever I'm getting started, I go ahead and lay all my boxes out like this in a row. Um, and that way, we, as we're making quick decisions, I might be working on five or six boxes at a time. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to shoot this. As you can see, um, we're dealing with a good bit of standing water down here in this uh, spot. Nothing we can do about it, but then we'll start over here for filming. One thing about pine shavings is they take a little bit to get going, but once they get rolling, they'll stay lit all day. So just gotta puff it back to life here every so often. It's just harder to get them started because I pack them down in there, but man, they'll they'll last, I mean, 45 minutes, an hour, something like that. I'm gonna do my best to shoot this today where you can see what all I'm doing. I tried to get everything in the in the shot. I hope this works out for you. But I I am looking for the queen, but I'm not spending all day looking for the queen. If we take her, we take her, they'll make a new queen. If we leave her in here, we can identify her, put her in our queen clip, and we'll go to town disassembling this hive and making a ton of splits. So either way, we're gonna win. give you an idea these these first four in a few previous videos ago um, these are the highs where I found 49 frames of brood in these first four we stole a bunch of resources from them and uh, equalized I think it's a video called equalizing the brood if I'm not mistaken and um, so anyways we're gonna get in and see how they've recovered yeah they're doing okay <laughs> um, look here this one not so much it's got about five or six frames drawn show you what I'm looking at here when we count frames of brood we're looking at bees so I mean when we say frames I count this section here so you got I mean every one all the way across Let's look at this colony here so over here we've got one two three, four, five. Partially drawn, but I don't see anything on this frame, so that's okay. For now, we're just gonna close them up and I'm gonna get to work. Always have to be easy taking out the first frame so that you don't roll your queen. It's just blanks, there's nothing in them. That's all honey, a little bit of, of uh, drone brood there. And we're just inspecting for the queen real quick. I know that as we get down the line, we'll find some blank frames uh, or undrawn, so that'll count as an undrawn frame. right here and nectar sugar syrup whatever that matter to me this is gonna be a good food frame to take with it just looking for my queen real quick lots of drones in here This frame is all honey 
and nectar. It's got some pollen in it. There's no eggs. So this is another food frame. Nice brood frame here. Got some cat brood. The eggs have been backfilled. Cat brood out here. Uh oh. There's our queen cells right there. Swarm cells here and here. Saw a pretty cool trick from Bob Benny this week. He said take a real little limb like this and add it to your frame rest here so that your swarm cell doesn't bang against the bottom of the box. And that way we can use those, those swarm cells in our splits. These are not swarmy bees. They just, I, I haven't been back into them in three weeks. And so the colony's getting packed out and they're it's different if you're promoting swarmy genetics. It's another if you go, you know what, I screwed up and get, didn't get back to my bees. Just like that. Now, that hive is completely done. Actually, it needs a frame of brood, I'm sorry. eggs here a couple more cells right there so again that's money in the bank One other thing you can do with swarm cells, in this case, I don't have a lot of, a lot, a lot of room, so I can slice it off here. Here's my swarm cell. We can just move it up, so put it right here. See it's sealed still in the back. There we go. They're still feeding this one. Let's steal that. Oh, messed it up. That's okay. Scrapped. There you go. Now there's our cell right where we want it. Another cell right there. So we're about to do the same thing. Look for my queen real quick.
right, I need to correct this right here as well. So since I don't see my queen, we're gonna shake these into a box. You correct all this, so this is an easy decision. You see that? Fixed. I'm gonna set this queen cell right here just over top to keep it warm. Take this cell here. That was just the drone. Put this right here in the middle. Press it in just like that. Oh, there's one right here already, so we can take that one back. every one of these swarm cells is like money in the bank, right? So here's this. I'm gonna put that, I just want the heat of the colony to keep that queen cell warm while we're working on it. Nice frame of brood here. That'd be a good addition to populate that hive. Some brood here. Nice honey frame here. So that one's good. Here is good. Always looking for my queen. Set this here, actually. Put it back here. Don't see any more queen cells down here, but we go ahead and get rid of this burr comb.
don't see it's a good food frame here. A swarm cell here. Another swarm cell there. I'm just checking for my queen right now. Out in there. I don't like the size of that one, so we're gonna toss it. I'm gonna use this nice long one right here. Push those in. And take care of that one there. Mm -hmm. The high beetle. Can't believe we got a high beetle and it's this warm and it's this strong of a colony. Mm -hmm. I don't like these little stubby cells here. They're not going to make good queens, so just toss them. I got this cell right here, hanging off the bottom. Um, not against it. Just one of those game time decisions. So, cut in here, cut up here. Nice little cell. 
I'm gonna lay that right here. Now that's a viable split, right? He's a little grumpy this morning, that's okay. And I got one more queen cell sitting up here. Still haven't found my queen yet. Nice sheet of brood though. I remember this this hive here was grumpy before I mean it's not crazy grumpy but in my outfit it's grumpy um, it happens it's okay I'm not mad if they're defensible I'm mad if they're like straight up angry um, when I say a little grumpy it's uh, currently 48 degrees overcast it's not the best conditions but it's Saturday morning I got a I've got a, a free morning so I got to get through it back over here now and here's our extra queen cell we're gonna put it about like this here put it right in that brood okay Now I'm done, but I just realized this. I forgot to bring extra frames today. Oh well, I'll be back in the morning to pick these up. We'll come in and we'll drop extra frames. Just leave those girls like this and... Put a stick on top to remind me those need frames in the morning. Out of that, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got six new hives and never found the queen. I'm gonna assume she's still in there. If she's not, it's okay. I mean, let's say we lose our queen. We got six new hives out of it, out of one colony. That's pretty dang good. If I find extra resources over here, I'll boost these other colonies as we go along. With these colonies here, where there's only three frames, again, I forgot my extra frames. So in the morning when I bring them, I'll just drop an extra frame on the outsides. That's easy enough to do tomorrow. They're not gonna draw out a bunch of crazy chem overnight.